Okay, so this is how you can hide the navigation bar when playing games on your Android. So here is what I'm going to do. So I don't have um, that many games on my phone, but if I open up the chess app, which is technically a game, I'm going to show it to you how it works on my phone and most likely on yours as well. So inside of the game, you can see I have the regular UI and at the bottom, in the bottom left and bottom right corner, I have like new buttons which appear, right? So if I click on the one in the right corner, it's just like gives me the ability to like lock the screen, right? So I need to drag the lock icon to unlock it. So the touch didn't really work. I mean, that's one of the features right there. So yeah, that is the first thing, but we can of course explore and change these buttons in our little corners. So again, if I hold down on it, it tells me that I have more options. Like I can start with a screen recording or enable the touch protection, a screenshot, navigation button lock, which we are interested in. So yeah, you can see there are more options than just the first thing that popped up. So what we need to do right now is essentially I'm gonna get out of this like locked state and I'm gonna select the icon in the bottom left corner. So this is like the game booster. You can see the battery left and temperature, memory, stuff like that. But if you click on the gear icon, another set of settings, like you can change the protection and everything, right? But the thing that we are kind of interested in is this shortcut and we need to change it to navigation button lock. So right now the option in the bottom right corner changed to this. And when I enable it, there are no buttons to like leave the app or go back. You can see that the navigation bar completely disappeared and I can focus fully on playing my game. So yeah, that's again, you can see that we have it right here available as well. So you can just access all of these things in here. But yeah, the locking of the navigation bar is important. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later.